that could be an issue right there with the basement seepage. Um, the, the downspout is coming out right next to the foundation, which it's not the end of the world, but of course the farther away the water comes out, the better. A little bit of a crack there, but of course that's to be expected. So this is the garage, obviously uh, wired with electricity. Garage, electric garage door opener. Um, that looks like maybe an old insert. I'll go back outside to, and see if there's a chimney like you were seeing. And then this opens up into a kind of a little lean-to, um, which is great for your lawnmower or whatever. And there you can see the pipe going up through the tin roof out here. This runs the whole length of the garage. Oh, and there's another lawnmower there, but that could also be the man who's looking after the yard. Pretty nice supply of wood. Yep, and there's the little chimney coming up right back there, guys. But nothing on the other end. So this is coming in from the back entrance again. And you're right, there's the electric, looks like, for the fan. Um, there's an outlet up here, I guess, is where they're plugging it in at. Yep, that must be where it's at. And all the cubbies. Now, I think this is the room you guys were talking about making into a bedroom, possibly. This door, you could easily put a regular size door on if you wanted. It's this door here that I'm talking about. Which I guess, you know, you could just put a set of double doors on. You could put like double French doors or something. Um, unfortunately, though, it's the only way into the kitchen and then, of course, there's the front hall. Unless you were talking about making this room your bedroom. Which um, would be fairly easy because, like we were saying, these closets, the back side of this closet opens up onto that little tiny room in so you can see that's the doorway in. This is the doorway into the bathroom. And this is the little room. So uh, you could easily make that into your master bedroom. Knock out this wall if you wanted and make this part of it your closet. With this the walkway right into the bathroom. you can see a little better. That would be pretty nice actually.
send the bathroom in through here. Definitely. Okay, this is the bedroom that's directly at the top of the stairs. You can see the stairs going down there. Um, I just wanted to show you in here this little side room. There is electricity, but there's no overhead light, which isn't the end of the world. But um, just to show you that. And then this into the closet. And I will show you this. <laughs> So I'm five foot two, and you can see where the door is. So, um, you know, it's pretty wide. It might be a bit tight getting furniture in through, um, but easy enough to walk into. So this is underneath the one rug, uh, the wide plank wood floors. There is a little bit of a ledge where these two meet right there. But, you know, I don't know how motivated you guys are, but to sand these down, these could be really quaint. So this is that front room by the screened-in porch. Um, looks like there's some scratch marks on this um, laminate flooring. There's a couple holes drilled in it, unfortunately. Not exactly sure why that would be. Um, let me lift it up from the other side and see if we can see anything. There is... Oh, that's just a dirt mark. Okay. Something that I didn't show you before in this front room, again by the screened-in porch, is there's a fold-out ironing board in between the two closets. So, that's pretty nifty. And that's the floor from the other side. I can see scuff marks. Um, it's a little elbow grease. You could probably scrub those out. All in all, though, it looks not bad, except for those two holes drilled in it, which is really unfortunate, but, again, it is what it is. And this is the kitchen floor with the rug pulled back. Um, just the linoleum squares. There are some um, little divots taken out in one area, but I'm not sure if they're leaving this carpet behind, but it's actually in pretty good condition. It's... Um, like a sisal carpet or a seagrass sea rimmed in black and it's in it's in nice shape. I don't know if it would match your decor but and that's it for the rugs. This is the window in the kitchen brand new vinyl replacement which could be so cute look at there's this nice curving garden right outside you could have some plants in there cute really cute lots of potential um, all right this is in the kitchen I was kind of thinking you could cut a, a doorway into this so you could enter the kitchen from the front entryway rather than having to walk down the hall but it's not the end of the world Didn't really show you guys in the cupboards before. The drawers don't have knobs on them. They just have a, a kind of a groove. You can see from the side profile, there's like a grooved edge and, and a finger pull from underneath, which is actually really nice because then you keep the fronts of your drawers clean. And there's a little lazy Susan over here. Needs a little WD-40, but other than that, <laughs> it works. Uh, what else was I going to 
show you guys. Let's head down to the basement and take another look at that sump pump. Um, the stairs are really sturdy, but this little kind of platform from the bedroom is just like a quarter inch piece of plywood and it's a little rickety. I mean, it's not soft, but it's definitely, um, you can feel some grooves in it. This is the basement and um, interestingly enough, this light bulb right here, which is controlled by the master switch, was unscrewed. And I can sort of see why. <laughs> Hope this doesn't scare you guys off, but it might. Um, this is where the water comes in, obviously. Uh, there's some um, kind of a wood platform. There's some standing water in over here. This is um, pretty damp right now. That goes up over in there to the foundation. It's really hard to see, and I apologize for that. But uh, maybe you can see better from here. Kind of see some water there on the floor. I mean, it's not tons of water, but there's definitely water down here. And it's sort of dungeony looking, but I don't know. Uh, maybe it's not a worry. Have to have a home inspector come and look through it all. Lots of dirt. Yeah, so this is the part of the basement that was illuminated on the first pass through. And you can see that looking over that way where the bulb was turned off or unscrewed, it's a whole different ball game. It's like they blasted it out. You know, this looks like the original sort of foundation from the farmhouse and they kind of blasted it out and... Um, you know, that's what's remaining. I, I don't know what you guys think of that, but we can chat about it. That's where the back door from the basement comes out, I bet. Yep. Air conditioning unit. 